Hey there kitty cats, your Uke Sage here and today we are going to learn how to use the capo with your ukulele. Yes, I know that you know how to snap on a, ukule a uh, capo onto your ukulele, but that's not the point of this lesson. The point of this lesson is how to think theoretically about what's going on when you do that, okay? This is a really simple process if you just follow it step by step and really there's it, it's it's super elementary okay so i'm going to show you how to do this today so if you've been tuning into my videos and you've purchased the ebook the ukulele ebook you'll know some of these chords or you may know these anyhow just being a ukulele player so you know this is a c an e minor or an a minor um, a g an f that sort of thing okay so, um, a lot of the songs that I teach um, might be in a different key other than G, C, D, those sorts of things, and it may require you to use either bar chords or a capo. Bar chords are when we take our finger like this, and we lay it down, and then we set up our chord accordingly afterwards. This part here, for whatever reason, in the beginning, for new uke players and new guitar players, it seems to kind of baffle them and they seem to kind of have an issue with it because it's a, a kind of a harder, uh, calisthenically, it's kind of a harder thing to do. I don't even know what that word means, I just throw big words out sometimes. Um, but uh, so capos uh, basically take place of you having to do this. Now, we still have to play the occasional bar chord. But um, I'm going to show you how to do this um, for, you know, if you're a beginner. So, for instance, let's say we have a song that's, um, that's in, now I'm, I'm thinking in my mind here, let's say it's in the key of C. So let's say the chords are C, F, and G. So C, F, and G. So there's a million songs like this. This is uh, what we call a 1, 4, 5 progression. Um, explained in the ebook and other videos. We can't go into it right now, but um, so just know that you know these are our basic chords: C, F, and G. But let's say, uh, oh, let me tell you too. This chord progression would be uh, used in like. Um, Best Friends Girl, um, God, there's a million tunes that have this chord progression, okay? Nonetheless, say we have these basic chords and we want to change the key, we need to be able to do this in an easy way. One of the ways that we can do that is with a capo. So let's say the song is actually um, D, G, and A. Let's say the chords D, G, and A. So, in order for us to do this, let's say you don't know those chords, we can simply take the capo and move it up to the second fret, play the same progression that we did, the C, F, G, and it's gonna go up one whole step. Um, half step is one fret, a whole step is two frets, okay? So if we're here, this is one, two, so that's a whole step up, C, C sharp, D. Now if I play what I know is a C on my ukulele, but I've capoed up, it's basically like you're taking a slide rule and you're taking it and moving it up two steps or two half steps, okay? So here is what we th think of as a C chord. It feels like a C, but it's actually a D chord. So if your bass player is playing a, a D, it's gonna sound good with this, or your guitar player, it would want to play a D chord over top of this, not a C, even though it feels like a C to us. This feels like an F to us, but it's not an F anymore because we're up a whole step, or two half steps. F, F sharp, G. That's our two, right? F is our starting note. We're going to go up one to F sharp, up two, 
to G. So now this is actually a G chord. And our G chord becomes a what? G, G sharp, A. So now this is an A. So basically, this chord progression is the same as if we were to go D, G, A. I'm sorry. Basically, we're just moving, we're changing the pitch of the, um, of the chords up in this case, okay? Um, what else? You can also do the opposite way. Let's say, for instance, you have a song that is actually in the key of D, and um, you don't want to play it, um, let's say the chords are uh, D. G, A, G. So we'll say just the same thing again there. If we wanted to say move this, um, let's say we want to move it down to the key of C, then we can do this by coming back around the other side. So what that means is we'd, we'd have to move the capo up and play some other form of a C up on the neck. Okay, so um, I explain this in more detail in, um, in the ebook e that's at your Uke stage. So I'm sorry we can't get into all of it today because it's just way too much to cover in one lesson. So um, there you go. There's the basics of a capo. Um, now, some people will ask me what kinds of capos to use and that sort of thing. Uh, this is a shub, S H U B B. There's a ton of great capos out there. There's a Kaiser, K Y S E R. Um, there are, um, there's a, a G3, I think it's called, maybe a Planet Waves maybe. Um, I've got that one too. So I have different capos that I use for different applications. The reason that um, I like these so much, this is the Kaiser, is that it's adjustable. It has this little knob here and you can use it to adjust as you go up the neck. Typically instruments um, as you go up the neck, they get fatter or wider, not wider this way, but fatter this way. And so um, what normally might be a, a good tension down here won't be a good tension up here because it's going to press down on the strings too hard and you're going to, well that sounds fine, but sometimes it will press the strings too hard where the, the instrument goes out of pitch. Okay, so that's why I like these. Why I don't like these is, say I'm playing live, I don't really have a place to put this. I could put it in my pocket or something like that, but um, the Kaisers, um, the G3, that sort of thing, you can snap onto the headstock of your ukulele, and then when you need it, you just grab it and put it on there, right on the guitar. Now, or on the ukulele. The reason that I don't like them is they have a consistent pressure on the strings and sometimes if it's too much depending on the the ukulele or the instrument that you're playing um, it can put the strings out of tune so that's why i don't like them so it really depends on the instrument um, both are great and you can make them both work so uh, don't feel like you're going to buy a bad capo or something you typically can make them work after just getting used to them after a while all right, guys, that's it about ukulele, or that's it about capos on the ukulele. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. If you haven't already, go get the ebook at yourukesage.com. If you play guitar, go visit me at uh, Your Guitar Sage, and uh, right here on YouTube, and uh, learn about the guitar. So until then, keep playing your uke. See you later.